Welcome to the Columbia Rosenwald School. For today's youth, it seems hard to imagine that the opportunity to receive an education has not always been available. But that was the case for many at the turn of the last century. Young black children in the rural areas of the South were not allowed to attend white schools. They rarely had schools of their own, and if they were lucky enough to attend school at all, it was in someone's home or maybe a local church. Around the same time in Chicago, a Jewish man named Julius Rosenwald was building his fortune as president of Sears, Roebuck & Company. As one of the richest men in America, he met many influential people. One of these men was Booker T. Washington. Washington was the founder of the Tuskegee Institute of Alabama. Washington was able to convey to Rosenwald the plight of the thousands of black children growing up in the South without an education. Rosenwald took up the cause and began to work to build schools across the South. The Rosenwald Fund donated roughly one-third of the cost for communities to build new schools for the black children. Members of the community, both black and white, had to contribute the rest. The fund provided very detailed blueprints for the communities to follow. The plans dictated that the schools had to be situated so the morning light came through the long eastern windows, allowing it to fall over the left shoulder of the children as to not create shadow on their work. The windows on the western side are higher and smaller, designed to keep some of the afternoon heat at bay. The Columbia Rosenwald School was built just a few miles east of where it sits today, in the town of East Columbia. It opened in 1921, and it served the children of the area until 1948. After the school closed, the building was sold, and for decades it sat in a field surrounded by cattle instead of children. By and by, only a handful of those in the community remembered its past life. It was in the 1990s when the Columbia Historical Museum was working on an exhibit about education that a remark by Morris Richardson changed history for the building. Morris, who had taught at a Rosenwald school in Luling, told his wife Lois and museum founder Emma Womack that the old hay barn had once been a school, and he explained to them who Julius Rosenwald was and how he had built many such schools. The museum board decided to try and save the school. In 2001, the National Trust for Historic Preservation named all Rosenwald schools to its list of endangered historic places. And at about the same time, the museum gained title to the Columbia Rosenwald School. The city of West Columbia arranged for the school to be located on the city's property where it sits now. As part of the site preparation, an archaeological dig was completed at the site by Dr. Joan Few and the students from the University of Houston. Work eventually began on site preparation, and soon it was moving day for the school. The school was moved during the night, and by early morning it was in downtown West Columbia. It was placed in its new location, oriented the exact way that was dictated by the Rosenwald Fund plans. Long before the school was ready to be opened, school groups have come to see the building and learn about its history. Bill Womack has been the construction manager for the restoration project and has been able to do the job for far less than the original estimates. There have been many donations, both in-kind and monetary, from both the community and outside contributors. From a school to a barn and now a museum, the Columbia Rosenwald School has seen its surroundings and its importance to the community change throughout the years. Now it welcomes all, young and old, to walk through this door and step back in time for just a little while. Learn about Julius Rosenwald's determination to make the world better for generations of young black children, and the determination of a community to see that their children were not passed over. You will not leave here without a deeper appreciation of education and its place in the community. Thank you for visiting the Columbia Rosenwald School.